God damn. I, cube mates. So you mentioned Block at the top of the show, and yeah. I thought he was going to turn into an ally, but we haven't heard him since. Nah, he was gone pretty quick. He, he moved to a different cell. Um, because there's three of us in there and two is the standard. So he went somewhere where, where he'd be doubled up. Then I then Greg came in. Greg's a 50-year-old black guy who's the most annoying motherfucker on the planet, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Real nice Thank guy. God. Not only does the man talks to himself, he eats all day long and he puts the most disgusting stuff. He's a black guy. He puts the most disgusting hair treatment in his hair that I've ever known to man. <laughs> known to man. It's a mixture of kerosene and you know those big fat permanent markers that could get you high if you sniff yeah. them? <laughs> okay. It's that. He's rubbing a gel that smells like that in his hair. It's so strong that I'll be covered up like a blanket over my head, sleeping in the middle of the day, and I'll go, wake me out of my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Smelling salts. I don't even have to look. I know that Greg is under uh, on the other side of that blanket putting his daily four times a day, put it in. I counted. <laughs> Plenty of time. Four yeah, times a day. Yeah. <laughs> four times a day he puts his hair treatment in. And he talks to himself about everything. All right. About to start this Monday. Monday morning. Yes, sir. Start <laughs> another day, Sally. I'm, you call your cellmates Sellies. Okay. He, I, he, so he's talking to me, but not really talking to me. I found out quickly that he doesn't expect a response from me. Just maybe a nod or an acknowledgement or a smile. Yes, yeah, Sally. My Sally about to get on up out of here. About to get on up out. Get to the house. He's dictating your life, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He, then he, oh. My Sally feeling a little constipated. I can tell. You. <laughs> I saw you eating them prunes. Them prunes. Eat a few of them. You're going to poop, 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 poop it out. It's like I got Bill Cosby sitting right next to me 24 hours a fucking day. I, just... can't, I can't follow your roommate situation. So you moved in. You were the third. Snow yeah. leaves. Greg moves no, 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 in. Block, no, no, no. block, uh, block leaves. I said it. Snow block, was never yeah. his roommate. I made a mistake. And block leaves. Greg moves in. You're back to three. Back to three. Okay, well, I am keeping up. Then David leaves, and then it's just me and Greg. Lucky David you. had had enough of Greg. <laughs> so did I asked I asked David. I was like, "Hey, man, why'd you move?" He's like, "Man, I couldn't take much more here." <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "How do you stand it?" I was like, "I didn't know I had an option. <laughs> Can I just leave?" Cell changes. Could you leave? Yeah. Or when it was down to two, you can't leave anymore. I think I could have left, but that would have been pretty obvious why I was leaving, right? I don't want to be rude to Greg and. Greg, Greg Greg's going like, to walk over to your new son and be like, my former Sally about to catch an ass whooping. <laughs> 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 Ooh, getting the lock in the He grievously sock. underestimated Greg. <laughs> the oh, now Sally's nose bleeding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Sally going to wish he hadn't fucked with Greg. <laughs> How's my hair smell now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just We're so annoying. <laughs> nice guy, nice guy. Like, uh, like but, but it's so funny that annoying. someone like just that's just annoying as fuck is in prison too, and the same rules <laughs> apply. Where it's like, God, this guy, bless his heart, but he fucking sucks. Yeah, <laughs> he sucks so much. Nobody liked him. Everybody, um, what did my Snow called him kerosene because he thought he smelled <laughs> like kerosene. Uh, but Snow can't pronounce kerosene, so he, it sounded more like kerosene. Snow, kerosene. Uh, when when Snow said shank. Like a shank you'd stab somebody with, he said chank. Yeah, they come at me with a chank. He come in with chank in the kitchen. I was gonna box him. I said, I, I don't need no blade, Holmes. I got these bowls to cut you up. And I'm like, All right, man. Sounds good. <laughs> Snow's so also going for a run. <laughs> this is during the run. This is during the run, he would tell me crime stories. He would tell me all his criminal history, even that that the federal government didn't know about. He told me all first of all, man's 48 years old. He has a son two years Young older buck. than me. Two years older than me. I'll save you the math. He was 13 and a half. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it was incalculable over here. Had his first son when he was 13, and he married that girl. But he kept, he kept some bitches on the side. You got to. And he's just telling me all of his exploits, both criminal, personal, family life, talking about the time they drove by, shot him, and he, he stop, we stopped, and he shows me the bullet wounds. Talking about this time they stabbed him in medium security, and he shows me this stab wound that looks like Frankenstein fucking stitched it up. God damn. It. All this crazy shit. Talking about all the fights he's gotten into. I would. He almost got into three fights while I was there, but people would back down when he came after him. Like like they would apologize and like 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 put he their was hands just that up. Big from his pull up regimen. I mean, he was just down to fight, and if you get in a fight in there, you're in trouble. And he, what did he say? You got to represent. That's what he'd say. He, he was, I, I was like, man, you're about to get out. You got to keep your head down. He's like, mm, -mm got to represent. 
And I was like, who are you representing? <laughs> <laughs> the family. And I'm like, oh, oh you said he was part oh, of a Mexican crime family. He's a Mexican. He's part of a Mexican crime family. They tried to charge him for an extra blanket in the commissary, or not the commissary, the laundry. He said, "Yo, you trying to tax the family? Do I need to let my people know?" And he was like, "What? Who are you talking about?" He's like, "You better ask around. I'll be back for my blanket." <laughs> <laughs> he came back. I saw him an hour later with a blanket. <laughs> and he's like. You you want a blanket? I'll get you one too. I'm like, I don't want to be involved with the family. <laughs> <laughs> I just one blank. I don't need a blanket at all. You can have mine if that's what it takes, but don't involve me with your blanket oh, crime family nonsense, me. man. Yeah. I, 